Wow, this is for sure one of the prettiest images I've ever seen. All right, here we are. So to get to this step where you're configuring your controls and there's no background music, I'm gonna put that at the end of this video. So if you do need help setting up this image from a first boot, uh, go ahead and you can check that out towards the end of the video. Uh, but when you first boot up, you're gonna have music and you're gonna to need to hook up a keyboard to get your controllers all configured. But here we are, this is Phil's Doodles 22 gigabyte image. And as you can see, it's running the Retro Rama theme, a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful theme. Um, by the way, this doesn't have Raspberry Pi setup, it's RP setup instead. So just a little shortcut there, just so you know. And it is running 4.2.20, so fresh RetroPie uh, version on there. So what do we got? We got, let me go back a menu here to the main systems. And from RetroPie setup, as we go to the right, we have CPS system one. And if you look in the lower right, we have 35 games. All these are hand drawn by Phil himself. All these pitch scenes we're seeing here. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. So CPS 2, 41. CPS 3, 6. Arcade Classics is going to be your main. Uh, 802 game. Uh, game Boy Advance. Cool little Super Metroid. 50 game. Uh, Master System. We got 147 games. Mega Drive. We have 366, which is also known as the Genesis. And Neo Geo. We have 146. And NES, we have 213. TurboGrafx, 16, 86 games. And 28 PlayStation games. Super NES, Super Nintendo, 346. And then Space Fighters, 15 games. These are all shoot 'em ups. Um, then we have all games. So it has a total of 2,266 games crammed on a little 22 gigabyte image. So you're going to need a 32 gigabyte SD card for this. And then all time favorites. I really like this animation here, this, this screen. Two games and favorites, but you can add more into it. Last played games. Let's see what he's been playing. Oh, a lot of PlayStation. He's probably testing all the PlayStation games. Nice. And some other games as well. Nice. Um, and then we're back at RetroPie. So there you have it. Really cool. When you go into the systems, there is no video snaps. But there, as you, as you can see here, you can see both the, um, the rating system is POWs instead of you know, diamonds or something else. And then you have two logos and you have scrolling font for the metadata. It is all in English, which is nice as well. It tells you how many number of players in the upper right hand corner. And uh, as you go through the different systems, you can see how smooth it is. So this is on instant. Um, when you go into UI settings, I'm sure there's other on, yeah, you go Carbon or Retrorama. And it's on instant right now. You can also do fade. So in between the screens, they fade, but there's a little more delay there. And then you also have the option to slide but I like instant the best. Slide's pretty cool too, uh, but on default, it is set to uh, instant. So once you have your controller set up uh, and you have it to your liking, let me go ahead and lower these sounds, 70. Usually a good setting there. You also could uh, set up your game collections here, do new collections, set up your favorites. And uh, another really cool thing is you could do screensavers. If you missed my video on that, you can do custom screensavers. When you hit select, it says select random game. If you hit start, you actually play the game that the screensaver starts on, so really cool. Let's check out the PlayStation collection because that's taking up the majority of your space on this image. You got Bloody Roar 2, Breath of Fire 3, 4, Castlevania Chronicles, Symphony of the Night, Castlevania Crash Bandicoot 1, 2, and 3, Final Fantasy Tactics 7 with the three CDs, uh, Gekito, Gran Turismo 2, great game, Legend of Mana, Parappa the Rapper, Parasite Eve, two cd1 and, and then you have regular parasite eve the first disc and the second disc persona two road rash road rash i know that this is a personal favorites of, of uh phil's doodle street fighter ex2 plus tekken 3 vagrant story valkyrie profile vandal hearts and vandal hearts 2. so a lot of really great rpgs there 
Turbo Graphics 16, you got 18 games here. Nice little collection of some classic. A lot of people like the old school Turbo Graphics 16. Cool little system. Here's just a little preview of what you can expect. Raiden R Type Vigilante. On the Nintendo, it has over 700 titles, but as we saw here, you get 213. So it's kind of, I'm sure it's his favorite games. And, you know, there is quite a few Nintendo games that are classics that you can play for a while. So it's kind of nice to not have to weed through 500 additional games. And it just goes to his personal favorites. Neo Geo, looks like you have the whole collection here at 146. It's the majority of the Neo Geo games. You're going to get all your fighters, your Fatal Furies, your uh, Metal Slugs, and all those great titles that come on Neo Geo. Uh, Mega Drive 366, so again, uh, the Genesis has over 700 titles, so you're getting about half of them, but you're getting all the classics, all the great games, so this might be a good image for people who don't necessarily know a lot about retro gaming, but you want to, you know, see what all, like, the classics were. And I, for all the people I know, I would say Phil's Doodle is one of the people that I put in my top 10 list as far as knowing good games and knowing the classics. Sit Master System, you got 147 again. You know, there's only about a quarter, maybe maybe even less of the Mega Master System titles out there. So it's giving you kind of all the best. So you don't have to weed through all this stuff. Maybe good for a kid um, or, like I said, somebody who, you know, uh, doesn't really know which games that they should play or didn't grow up with these games. Game Boy Advance 50 games. So Game Boy Advance has like 900 titles, something like that, original titles. Um, so, again, you're just getting the, the best. These are games that take up a lot more space. So you do need to be a little more cautious of what you put here. Um, and then arcade games. Um, wow, they're all, um, he has folders set up here. So this is a nice little addition that you could set. You know, I don't see this used very often, to be honest. So it's cool to be see this here. So when you, this is a Capcom folder. So when you go into Capcom, you then have all your Capcom games. But when I press back, I can then go back to Cave and do all my Cave games. Data East games, Bad Dudes and things like this. Um, Konomi. You can go in here, you're going to have your Mortal Kombat and things like that. And you can still search, so like Mortal Kombat can go select, then hit M, and then get to my, um, I guess that's not under Mortal Kombat. Oh, it's Midway, I'm sorry. So Minute Mortal Kombat would be under Midway, uh, 1, 2, and 3, as you see here. And then you have Mortal Kombat Ultimate, so cause, because it's under U, it is alphabetical. A couple different versions of NBA Jam. You got your Pac-Mans, your PGMs, Sega titles, uh, two of Plan titles. So a lot of shoot 'em ups a lot of really good classics, and it's all nicely sorted for you. And it's all very seamless, as you see. It's got a very consistent uh, theme on it. You got Cat CPS3, CPS2, um, and then CPS1. So let's do a quick check on uh, Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter. Great classic game. A lot of fun. Let's just make sure all the retro arc and controls and everything are working. I'm using the F710 at this point. Oh, this is another really cool thing, is that the shaders and the bezels you have on every single system. So here, just really quickly, we can just show you that uh, it has these shaders, so it looks like an old school arcade running a CRT monitor. As you see, you can see some of the scan lines. So really cool stuff. Um, let's do a little... See, I can Hadouken. I, it is possible. Do you know the move? I have played many videos where where we mess up these moves. Okay, so there you go. CPS 1, and then we go to CPS 3. I just want to show you that each one has a custom loading screen and a custom bezel. So that's very, very nice to have all that. And as you see, once this loads up, you'll be able to see. There it is. So you got that. It even says insert coins to play. CPS 1 is going to be a similar story, custom loading screen, different than the other ones, and custom bezels, different than all the other ones. So arcade games get that loading screen, and then let's go ahead and check out the, cool. So all the arcade games are going to have a, um, a screen similar to this. And then Game Boy Advance, you get a custom loading screen, and you're going to see the Game Boy Advance bezels on here as well so really 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 nice and as you see you get the sky scan lines as well all right so on first boot you do need a keyboard go ahead and go into RetroPie, and then there should be a file manager go ahead it's the fifth one down once you're in file manager you're going to want to go to bgm 
within BGM holds all the sound files. You may like these sound files so you can keep them or just hold shift, go down, go ahead and press F8 on your keyboard. That'll delete them. It'll ask you if you want to say yes and then go ahead and press F10 to quit out of the file manager. Next up is you go to RetroPie Setup. On here it's called RP Setup for RetroPie Setup. And once you're in there, you'll see a little menu with a blue background. Go ahead and go to C, the fourth one down, Configuration. Then go down to um, Emulation Station, which is uh, about six or seven down. And then Configuration, and then it'll ask, do you want to clear your controls? Click Yes. And then go back, go back, go back, and then perform reboot. Make sure you do this, and then yes, I want to reboot. And then on reboot, you should be prompted to configure whatever controller you have plugged in. I'm running a 64 gigabyte, so the rest of my, you can run this on a 32 or 64, but the rest of my 64 gigabyte is showing up. So I can totally add additional games to this, make some customizations. I have plenty of space to really expand on this. That's the nice thing about the 22 gig, because if I was running a 32 gig, that gives me like an extra eight or 10 gigabytes of space depending on how much you lose when you, when you write. But that's still plenty of space to add a lot of great titles, including PlayStation, uh, Nintendo 64, if you wanted to add that, and some others. Um, if you are having any issues where you're running out of space, you would just go to Raspi Config. You go to Advanced Options here. You have A1, ensures that all your SD card store is available to the OS. And you can just expand your file system there. And that'll unlock any space that the current partition isn't allowing you to access. So that's really easy to do, but it seems like that's already done when I wrote this image, so you shouldn't have to do that. But on other images, that's how you do it. If I was being super critical about this image, I would say it's just missing some of the games that I would want to put on there. For example, Nintendo 64 games like Mario Kart and maybe some other games. I haven't really looked at every single title that was on here or not, but I have to say just looking over it, it has 99% of the games that I would want as far as my favorites of the consoles that are on this uh, particular image so it's really solid solid a on this one great work to fill hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and we'll see you guys on the next one